Hi everyone, I am Rihanna from SNIT Adur. Here we are studying the subject Civil Engineering Project Management for 8th semester Civil Engineering as per APJ K2 syllabus. Now we have completed almost all the portions from module 1 to 6 and now we are on the revision part. In the revision part during the previous sessions, I have discussed the previous year questions from module 6, module 5, module 4, module 3 and module 2 and now I am going to discuss the previous year questions from module 1. Module 1 is construction project management, introduction to construction project management which we are studying in module 1 and today our topic of discussion is previous year questions from module 1. So the first question asked was explain the steps involved in realization of a construction project which is asked for 8 marks. So your answer should include the explanation of each steps during the realization of a construction project. The steps involves first one conception, preliminary design, feasibility, the detailed project report or DPR, tendering and completion of the work. So you have to first of all you have to list out each of the steps during the realization stage which is conception, preliminary design, feasibility, detailed project report, tendering and completion. Thereafter, you have to briefly explain the different stages and the different stages could be presented in different formats. Now your second question is, what are the advantages of networks over bar charts? This is asked for 5 marks. We know that network analysis and bar charts are two different methods used for scheduling. We know that both are graphical representation and you have to mention the advantages of network analysis over bar charts. Bar chart is also known as GAN charts. It was introduced by Henry GAN. Here your answer should include. You have to mention what is network analysis and what is bar charts and what is its importance in scheduling. Then you have to list out any 5 or 6 advantages of this network analysis over the bar charts. So your third question is a numerical problem. The question is determine the expected completion time, variance and critical path of the project given below which is asked for 10 marks. So here is the data given, here the activities are given, its predecessor relationship is given and the TO, TL and TP is given that is the optimistic time, most likely time and the pessimistic time is given. So you have to estimate the expected time, variance and critical path of the project and for while answering this question first of all you have to the meet network you have to draw either an AOA or AON network while answering this question here I am briefly explaining the answer key for this particular project uh, particular uh, numerical problem so first of all you have to draw the network either AOA or AON network then you have to estimate the expected time for each activity the expected time can be calculated as TE is equal to TO plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6 which is the equation for calculating the estimated time that is TE is equal to TO plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6. TM means the most likely time here it is represented as TL so you can uh, write it as TE is equal to TO plus 4 TL plus TP divided by 6 then you will get the total expected time. So 
so here for this particular numerical problem the expected project time is obtained as 27.15 days so it should be rounded as 28 days next you have to estimate the variance so for calculating the variance the equation is tp minus to divided by tp minus to the whole square divided by 36 so the equation for variance is tp minus to the whole square divided by 36 here the variance value is obtained as 6.86 and the critical path is identified as bdfh so it is the table representing the activity expected time and variance for every individual activity you have to estimate the expected time and to list out in a table format and the variance is calculated the sum of the final column will give the total variance 6.86 so hoping that you have understood this numerical and next question is what are the advantages and limitations of bar charts explain I have already told you that uh, bar chart is a type of or is a method of scheduling which is a graphical representation it is also known as Gantt chart it was introduced by Henry Gantt it, uh, this question is asked for mar 5 marks so your answer should include the following points you have to give a brief note on bar chart what is bar chart what is its importance how it is used for uh, scheduling etc you have to mention and you can state an example of bar chart also but here only it is asked for 5 marks so you have to mention a brief note on bar charts thereafter you have to list out any 5 or 6 advantages of this bar charts and any 5 disadvantages of bar chart so here it is asked for the advantages and limitations of bar charts so first of all you have to mention what is bar chart and then list out any 5 advantages of bar chart and 5 disadvantages of bar chart. Next question is following are the duration of activities of a project which is also a numerical problem it is asked for 10 marks. Here is the data given. Uh, these are the duration of activities of a particular project it is given in weeks. The relationship is specified here. So before answering the question you have to draw the network. The question is draw the network and find the critical path and minimum project duration. Also calculate the float of the activities. Oh. Here I am mentioning the uh, brief the answer key for this particular numerical problem. So first of all you have to draw either AO, AOA or AON network and then you have to identify the critical paths there are two critical paths here they are ACF and BDF then you have to estimate the pre minimum project duration which is estimated as 28 weeks in this particular case and then floats have to be calculated there are three types of floats total free and independent and interfering floats there are four types of floats so you have to calculate these floats So after the estimation, the result is obtained as and it is entered in a table format. So this is the final answer for this particular uh, numerical problem. Hoping that you have understood. I think you know that how to calculate the TE and TL and if you are able to calculate the TE and TL only then you have to find out the floats the sixth question was exploit various types of floats which carries eight marks we know that there are four different types of floats they are total float free float independent float and interfering float so your answer should include the following points the definition for the four types of floats total for free float independent float and interfering float and a brief explanation on these ty four types of floats the free float, independent float, and interfering float. Okay, thank you. Stay safe.
hoping that you understood the previous year questions these are only some questions asked in previous year question papers so you have to study more there are chances of asking so many questions from this module these are only five or six questions which is asked in the two previous year question papers one supplementary question paper and one regular exam question paper so you have to study more uh, there may be chance of asking more questions from this module so you have to uh, refer textbooks and how to work more uh, problems in later sessions i will give you some uh, problems for working working out some additional problems should be given okay thank you